Hey guys, welcome to another book review. This week's book that we are reviewing was a recommendation of a friend of mine who, who's already read the book and wanted me to read to give him my opinion on it. Um, so the book is called Ayurveda by Gita Vara, A Practical Guide to Optimal Health, Healing and Vitality. And I think the reason why my friend wanted me to read this book is for the simple fact that obviously my job is a health coach and uh, my background is nutrition. And basically I, I talk a lot about health and sleep and digestion and um, stress levels and everything else, which, and I guess that's why it, it, it asked me to read this because this actually touches on a, on a lot of those points. Now, the book starts by telling us about five great elements, which Ayurveda focuses on, which is space, air, fire, water and earth, uh, which is Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jala and Prithvi. I think I said it correctly. And then basically tells us that we need to understand those five elements to understand our inner world and our outer world as human beings. And then um, as a cornerstone of Ayurveda, there are three doshas that uh, kind of outline those five elements. Those doshas are Vata, Pita and Kappa. Those are three things they kind of characterizes via, by, by our personality and our characteristics. How do they know who, as individuals, which ones are which for you? Um, there's actually a questionnaire in this book, which basically um, asks you to do a questionnaire uh, twice. One from your, uh, your younger years and one from now. And then you can kind of compare both answers to when you were younger to where you are now and that gives you our characteristics based and gives you an idea based who you are on those three characteristics so it says in the book that you can be all three uh, or you can be very strong in two and not so much in another I was actually very strong in one so my results in the book I did it all and I got uh, 7 and 9 in Vata, 29 and 29 in uh, Pita, and I got 8 and 9 in Kappa. Now, uh, obviously, I'm very, very strong Pita, based on what this book says. Unfortunately, I kind of got immediately lost after this chapter in the book, because when it started actually um, giving an explanation of what a Pita is, um, a lot of those things, I'm not it. Um, so physical pita characteristics, medium and well-proportioned build, yes, that's fine. Average and stable weight, well, what does that mean, right? I can be average stable weight now, but I can easily lose weight and I can easily put on weight. Uh, fine hair, well, my hair is really thick, uh, often light or red in color, my hair is pure black. Um, delicate skin, well, my skin is not delicate at all. I don't have freckles or moles, um, I don't have uh, thin or pointed noise, nose, I hope. I think it's pretty normal. Um, sleep is light and moderate but undisturbed. Eight hours. Well, again, how do you know? Sometimes it's eight hours, sometimes it's six hours, sometimes it's disturbed, sometimes it's not disturbed. Um, excellent appetite. Well, yes, sometimes. Strong hunger, sometimes. Good digestion. Well, actually, not really. I've had a lot of digestion issues in the past. Um, perspires easily and heavily. I never sweat, ever, 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 ever. I mean, really, even when it's hot and I'm exercising stupidly. Feels uncomfortable in hot climates? Not really. I love, I was born in a hot climate. I love hot climates. That was basically the um, characteristics. Now more to the emotional. Driven by routine, order and cleanliness. Yeah, I'd say that's true. Gets irritable if meal is missed. Or, um, and again, it depends on the situation. Witty and outspoken, yes. Joyful and content, sometimes, not all the time. Um, determined and pers persevering, again, sometimes, sometimes no. Focused, perceptive, intellectual and goal-orientated. Again, I'm not great at making, at doing, at actually having goals, so not really. Articulate and concise with strong communication skills. My communication skills have improved, but they've not always been strong. I can tell you that, I've been working on that very, very hard. Able to perform under pressure, again, it depends on the, on the circumstances. Perfectionist, no, I'm not, depends on the area. Um, thrifty with finances, but enjoys an occasional splurge, absolute rubbish. Uh, strong sex drive and easily aroused, well, yes. Like competitive sports, yeah, I do. 
adventurous and brave, not really. So there's a lot of, I mean, the majority of the stuff on here, I'm not that. So immediately after I read that, I'm like, well, that's kind of crap. And then what it talks about after that, it's all based on that. Like for example, the foods that I should eat are based on that characteristics. The way I should sleep a bit is based on that. The way I should deal with stress is based on that. The way I should deal with, with training is based on this, which again, because that's not me, I lost all interest immediately. Uh, and again, this may just be me. I, I've been looking at some uh, reviews and the reviews for this book are really, really good. For example, such a good read. This was one of the first books I read on alternative medicine. And, in, uh, and that's another thing. This is not medicine. It's not alternative medicine. They are not medicating you. They are not giving you anything. It's just a pure way of looking at a different lifestyle. That's all it is. That's, and I'm going to touch on that. Um, there is a lot to be said about reaching for natural remedies provided by the earth for simple things that are so quick. Uh, but we are so quick to pop a pill. I agree with that. I love that Ayurveda stresses both prevention and holistic healing, two concepts that are only minimally presented in Western medicine. Totally agree with that. I highly recommend you read this book, take the quizzes, share knowledge with your friends and keep um, whatever, concise, clear and informative. Love the way she was literally introduced the concept of Ayurveda into daily lives of regular people. Written very well. I love the fact that not, not once does it feel overwhelming or complicated, even to a beginner. Highly recommended for people interested in preventive healthcare. Okay, um, it's, it's got a lot of good reviews. I read the whole book, I carried on, uh, and I didn't like a lot of the things. For example, it talked a lot about um, certain foods you can eat, other foods you can't eat. Uh, the majority of the foods that you can't eat are the usual, the processed um, foods that we get in today's world. You don't need Ayurveda to tell you that. I'm pretty sure you already know that. You don't need an alternative medicine, medicine book, which again, I don't think this is an alternative medicine book at all. We're not supposed to be giving you... Food is not medicine. This is something that this book says. It says food is medicine. Food is not medicine. Food is food, okay? And we've got to stop looking at food as medicine because it is not, right? So what did I like about the book? What I liked about the book is that it touches on the basics. It, it, it says how important it is to sleep well, make sure we are s low stress, it makes sure we're eating good quality food, make sure that we're exercising moderately, making sure that we're getting good sunlight, vitamin D, making sure that we're doing exercises that are not stressing our body too much, but they're giving us enough of what we need. So these are the basics. These are the basics that we are all doing, hopefully, well, not all of us are doing it, but we should be doing it. And I like the fact that it touched on that. So I think anybody without my background reading this book potentially will take away that from the book and potentially start applying that to their life. Um, I felt a little bit that I was reading my stars in a newspaper. Uh, I'm a Capricorn and it's telling me that today I'm gonna be this, 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 and this, and this. And it's kind of like, well, okay, some Capricorns may actually feel that that's them, others will not. So I feel that this characteristics thing is kind of what threw me out of it because we, you know, we're not, we're not all of us that are Peters are not gonna have the same characteristics that it mentions in the book. And I was, 29 questions I got there. The other ones were below 10. So you see how that strong that was for me to look back on that. It should have been 80, 85 to 90% me, but it's not. And again, because everything else was based then on that, I think, well, this is absolutely rubbish. But one thing you can take away from the book is the fact that it touches on the basics of health. And we have lost touch with that, absolutely. Now, you know, we, we'll, we, 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 feel, we feel ill and what do we go for? Supplements, vitamins, minerals, instead of, okay, can I get better sleep? Can I make sure my stress levels are low? Am I drinking enough water? Am I seeing enough sunlight? Um, Am I doing too much right now? You know, these are the things that we need to be looking at before we're looking at fixing the problem with pills and medicines, which I 100% agree with. So there's a lot of good things in here, but I think that the, the, the majority of the stuff, when it's based on these um, doshas, to me, is total dosh. So what would I give out of this book? I would say because it has some good information, I'd give it a two to three. Um, because that information can be helpful for every single one of us. But I'd say as a book, 
Um, for sure, not one of the best ones I've ever read. Uh, hopefully that's been helpful. I know it's been a bit of, bit of a long one today, uh, but I felt like it was needed to be long. Um, if, of course, if you've read this book, let me know if you've enjoyed it. What, what did you get out of it? But again, look at it from the point of view that you may have a different view because you haven't got the background that I have uh, in terms of, for example, nutrition uh, and overall, overall health in terms of sleep. I've looked massively into sleep, into stress, um, into nutrition, and a lot of the things are basic that we should be doing anyway. And again, the other thing I didn't like about it is that actually they're saying a lot of things without backing it up by studies. There's no studies that back anything that's in this book, which again, uh, can be a little bit worrying in my opinion. Um, so thank you for watching once again. If you liked the review, if you didn't like the review, comment below, share, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.